Welcome to Bible Reader Companion. We are wrapping up our studies in Hebrews chapters 3 through 5 this week. And we are going to look at a passage that's probably very familiar, but I couldn't go through this section and not include this passage. We're going to look at Hebrews chapter 5, verses 12 through 14. And I ask you to read with me if you can, if you're driving, obviously that's not the case. But if you are uh, at a place where you can pick up your Bibles, I always encourage you to do that. I also encourage you to read chapters 3 through 5 as much as possible. We're going to read from the New King James Version, he Hebrews chapter 5, beginning in verse 12. For though by this time you ought to be teachers, you need someone to teach you again the first principles of the oracles of God. And you have come to need milk and not solid food. For everyone who partakes only of milk is unskilled in the word of righteousness, for he is a babe. But solid food belongs to those who are of full age, that is, those who by reason of use have their senses exercised to discern both good and evil. You know, part of the reason that our faith fails is that we fail to grow. Can you imagine inviting uh, an adult into your home, or even a teenager for that matter, and you sit them down at your table and you present to them a nice meal of meat and vegetables, and they say, look, I'm, I'm sorry, um, I'm just going to need a glass of milk. That, that's really all I've learned to consume. And you're like, you know, you're 17 years old, you're 20 years old, you're 30 years, 50, whatever you're saying, you know, by now you should have surpassed that. You shouldn't still be just drinking milk. You know, most people are done drinking milk when, as a, the sole source of their nutrition by the time they're one or two years old. By the time you're beyond that, you're like, there, there was something greater expected. And from a spiritual standpoint, the same is true. If we're not growing spiritually, then we're failing. And we're putting ourselves at risk for falling. He said, by this time, you ought to be teachers, but you've not worked on your skill. You've not grown yourself. You've not taken what you know and built from that. I think of the parable of the, the talents where Jesus sent men out with two, five, two, uh, one, two, and five talents. And they came, two of them came back and they'd increased what they were able to handle. He gave them stuff based on responsibility and they took that and they increased that, meaning they were able to increase their responsibility. Most people in their work requirements are expected to grow in what they're able to do and what they're able to handle. Why do we view spiritual roles any differently? We may never be public speakers. We may never be teachers in the standpoint of getting up and leading an adult class or standing in the pulpit and proclaiming the word of God, but we should be growing in our spiritual knowledge, in our spiritual skill set. We shouldn't still be needing the same basic elements and principles of the word of God the longer we have been Christians. Will you grow? Will you take the word of God and will you consume it in a way that helps you become stronger spiritually? It's the only way to prevent falling into the trap of unbelief and failing in your faith. Thank you for studying with us this week, and we hope you'll join us again next week. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on Facebook for more content like this.